About what? Bronies. About bronies? That was bronies. I have no idea what bronies is. Hmm. Can you explain? In 2010, a reboot of an 80s cartoon called My Little Pony created a fan community that was way beyond the cartoon's target audience. Because the majority of them were male, the internet quickly coined the term... It's pink, it's colorful, there's rainbows, and there's unicorns. Of all those things, why does it appeal to so many guys? We're gonna take an inside look at the Bronies. We found an internet group that arranges meetups around Northern California called BONC, or BONC, which stands for Bronies of Northern California. They arrange small meetups where Bronies get together and share their interest for the show. My name is Ohad Kane, known as TGP Fluttershy in the Bronies of Northern California group. I am the assistant organizer for the group, helping out Apple Cider and other group members to organize meetup, make sure that everything's okay, and give rides most of the time. Obviously there are different types of bronies per se, you know, there are bronies who are into that kind of aspect of the show, bronies that are into that kind of aspect of the community, and everyone likes different things. I think what does it for m more people than anything else is low expectations. The first episode I watched was actually one with an antagonist called the Diamond Dogs. I figured any show that does a David Bowie reference like that has to be has to be enjoyable. This show kind of has a weird way of sticking to you. Like I'm into other shows, but you know I don't I don't I don't go online to have my daily pony fix. It is incredibly well done. The animation, the dialogue, and even the casting is well done. The musicals are catchy and they're not so long you want to, you know, shoot yourself or anything. Before we go any further, there's one woman that every brony is thankful for. She started working on the show and then she said, you know what, I think that we can make this show appeal to none of the little girls, but the parents who are forced to watch that show with their young ones. Lauren Faust, she was a big influence on the show in the first season and carried on later in the second season. She was a huge part of the show. I think it a reflection of her qual the quality of her work and what we love. If you want to be a part of it, by all means, you're, you're more than welcome. If you don't want to be a part of it, just please, please just, you know, don't, don't say stuff like, uh, you guys should die or you guys, uh, I don't know, uh, club in hell. Fuck, why would they like ponies, you know? <laughs> they thought a little kid like ponies, but I don't know. I guess that's their own fantasy, man. But I guess they're not cool, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Dash and I have ten times as much cool as the rest of you put together. A lot of people see us as creepy, childish, weird, and straight up pedophiles. I'd like them to think not those things, but rather just anybody. Just any other person in the world. Like, people see this uniform, and they would never guess that I was in candy-colored, marshmallow-y acorns. It's cool in my book, just, you know, a little weird. If you're really nervous or if you're really, like, curious about watching the show, try it. I cannot recommend it high enough. If you don't like it, you can say, at least I tried it, right? If you don't like it, at least I tried it. And move on. 
if you love it, hey, I'll meet, come to a meetup. I'll give you a bro -huff. Welcome to the herd. All right. Ouch. I'm not a brony, I guess, but there's nothing wrong with it. Thank you so much, everybody. I want to give a big shout out here, out there, to all my bronies who may be watching. <laughs> bronies are, you know, going to take over world leaders, threaten the world's balance. You're going to watch the ponies, or you're going to make a Fluttershy president. Otherwise, we'll kill you. Going to love it. We're not going to do that. To be, you know, this part of a fandom, this. I wouldn't say nice little fandom, I would say a fandom like, uh, you know, Doctor Who fans, furries, uh, Harry Potter fans, Transformers fans. We just want to be, you know, like that kind of fandom that we do our own thing, we have our own cons, we have our own meetups, we have our own people that we like to interactive. I would like the world to see brownies as just a fun loving group of people who like a show. It's just a really good show that people like, and you should like, and you should just let them enjoy it. Dear Princess Celestia, my friends and I all learned an important lesson this week. Never judge a book by its cover. Someone may look unusual or funny or scary, but you have to look past that and learn who they are inside. It's unbelievable at first, but bronies are real fans of the show, just like Harry Potter fans or Transformers fans. Since they're mostly guys, it surprises everyone that they would be into a show with candy-colored ponies and unicorns. Not everyone is interested in magical adventures with ponies, but if you are, give the show a try. Like Marty said, if you tried it and didn't like it, at least you tried it. And if you do like it, hey, come to a meetup, I'll give you a bro hoof. Welcome to the herd. Everyone's saying, you know, love and tolerance are things that they that the community throws around. I've I've personally single-handedly seen it with my own eyes how people love and tolerate everyone is in the community and it goes beyond it goes beyond being a brody. So just keeping who you are and being a brony can most likely just add on to that. So rock on and brony on. 